What's going on guys, it's Josh and today I will be doing the Balkans mod review. Now what the Balkans weapon mod does is implement a bunch of new weapons into Minecraft. This is for 1.6.4 as well as can be used on 1.6.2. The first weapon I'm going to be showing you is the spears. Now as you can see in the spears, it is wooden spears, stone spears, gold spears, iron spears, as well as diamond spears. They all have knockback except for the diamond spear which doesn't have for some odd reason. Now going down the line, the diamond spear has 6, iron has 5, gold has 3, stone has 4, and wood has 3. Same as the gold. Now I'm going to quickly get this spear and I'm going to show you guys how the spear works. All you have to do is easily hold down the right and it throws it into your attacker. Now, as you can see, it took three kills to kill a villager as it has the plus six. I'm going to implement this back into the chest. Now, a new addition that is not a weapon that they added are dummies. By right clicking them, you can pick them up and it's a testing dummy. By right clicking on the ground, it places it. Punching it from side to side makes it move and shake. It doesn't have durability, so it never breaks. So after you have one, you never have to make another one. The next weapon is the halberd. You have the same classifications, diamond, iron, gold, stone, as well as wood. Now, the knockback is a little different on this. It's 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.4 for the gold. 0.2 and 0.2. The gold has more knockback on the halberd for some odd reason, but it is still the same for the attack speeds. Attack damage, the diamond has 6, iron has 5, gold has 3, stone has 4, as well as the wood has 3. This is very much similar to the spheres in attack damage. The only difference is the speed. In third person, you can see this, it looks insane, as well as Swinging looks like this, and this is some odd motion that is to block people. When you're looking around doing this, it just faces from left to right. We will quickly test this on the dummy. As you can see, they move around from side to side. I will be going to place this back into the chest. The next thing on the list is the battle axes. And if I haven't said before, as always guys, on the screen I will show you guys how to craft each one. Okay, so the Battle Axe has the same exact classifications. All the weapons can be made out of the same. So you have the Wood Battle Axe, Stone, Gold, Iron, as well as the Diamond. Now, the knockback, as you can see for all these, are the same except for Gold. Ignore Armor, the exact same for all these. And Attack Damage is 6, 5, 3, Four, three. The attack speed is negative 5 for all these, and I will quickly show you guys what this looks like. It's very, very similar to an axe. In third person, as you can see, it's just a double sided axe. You can team with this axe, though. So you can definitely double hit. Now, this does more damage than the axe in game, which is quite handy when it comes to chopping down trees and killing enemies. This Battle Axe can be used for both. The next item that we have is my personal favorite, the Warhammer. With the exact same, it's got stone with the knockback 0.3 for all these as gold has 0.5. The exact same, exact same attack damage to all these except for plus one than the normal ones. The reason I like this so much is it's very similar to this. See the difference. Very, very similar, okay? All they did to this one was add an ending to the sides. As you can see, hanging these with this makes a lot bigger of a difference. Now, holding this with your right trigger and letting go does the super smash, which is personally the coolest looking thing I personally have seen. It takes a while for it to get its crosshair back. 
So you can't do it every time. As you can see, it's used up. It takes a while for it to gain back, as you can see. The last weapon are the knives. Now, these knives have the exact same as the swords. Okay. Now, that means that it takes one less diamond to make these. And you can hit people with it, which only does the for diamond. It does half of what throwing it does. But, as you can see with my, my player, it's very, very close in size to the diamond sword. The only difference is you throw this. Now, the throwing action is pretty cool. Very well animated, except for the way it looks. As you can see in the ground, it looks like a really pixelated lightsaber, which may be fixed or may not. So that is all the weapons involving a lot of different swords, etc, etc. Now we have the flail. As you can see on the screen, that's how you make it. The flail is my personal least favorite in a sense. It's a fishing rod, really. As you can see, you have to run around and swing this around and hit people with it. So after you use it, you have to switch items because once you throw it, you know, you have to turn and rotate, which is kind of annoying from time to time. But does a lot of damage as well. You can see these. For some odd reason, they don't have the dislocation for Minecraft. Now we get to the Javelin, which is my favorite weapon out of this whole series. Now look at this. It looks like an actual Javelin, or an RPG in my case. As you get this, you can load, cock back, and throw, like so, and it hits the player. We're going to do that from this point of view, and as you can see, it looks amazing. And we're going to shoot it, and it bounces. A very cool, very awesome weapon, in my personal opinion. Now we have the crossbow, which takes a lot to make, as well as a crossbow bolt. You have to first load which is right click. It will load and then you will right click again which brings out the bow. You then hit someone and you will shoot. Now the awesome thing about this is it's just like the bow. All arrows can be picked up if missed. Now it does more damage than any of the bows so that's another plus okay. And at full damage this does one heart or one plus damage more than any bow. I will place this back in the chest. Today, we get to play Tarzan because we get a blowing dart. Okay, these are pretty awesome. So, I'll quickly show you these if I can get them in the right place at the right time. <laughs> so, you have the poison, snowless, hunger, and poison too. I'll get the poison too one of these and one of these. So now we have one of each ex except for the first poison which is the same as the other one. By right clicking you load it. By right clicking and holding again you get to shoot the dart. As you can see right there you get a little puff of air right above the blow dart in the screen which is quite cool. We're going to now burn this dart and use the poison dart. So now we're loading the next one and boom. That's the exact same difference. They all look the same. You guys know how we do. So much time. Let's make this daytime. Set. Slash time set day. Slash time add 2000. You burn! You burn in that hell! The last weapon we have is the musket. And I think this guy wants to be part of the video. 
but he he died but he was in it for a half second and my hunger is going down so i need to eat an apple so put this back there so you guys don't have to worry about it so this is the last weapon we have which is the musket right hold is to load it right hold again it brings it out just like the crossbow shoot and you get a little fire as well as the coolest thing which as you can see in the bottom is gonna go back down and it went down as the player goes floating I apologize I will try it now on both and boom and as you can see he's floating again little little uh, glitch I think we have in the game but pretty cool so I will put this back in the chest so yeah guys if you guys have a little server or anything so let's play as you know you may want to implicate this into it it's pretty awesome you had all these cool weapons you know now I do want to say that this mod does not come with Minecraft looking this way. This is called a shaders mod. If you would like me to do a review on shaders, different shaders, as well as how to install it, please let me know in the comment section below and I will be glad to make that. But anything you saw in this video, including my shaders pack, will be in the description for download uses. I hope you, have a, I hope you guys have an awesome day. And make sure to hit the like button on your way out, and I'll see you guys all later.